Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about spawn location. A spawn location is the location where your character will appear when you first enter the game. To add a spawn location to your game, just go to your workspace and click on the plus sign and select spawn location. And you can see a spawn location has been added to your workspace. If you don't see it, just um, click on the part and press F to put the part in focus. Now if I go and press play, you're going to see that my character is going to appear right at the center of the spawn location. There it is. Now let's add another spawn location. So I'm going to go back to the workspace and I'm going to click on the plus sign again. And I'm going to select another spawn location. So now I have two different spawn locations stacked up on, on top of each other, right at the center. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the top spawn location and I'm going to move it somewhere else. So let me move it to the red platform over here. Right. And then um, what I want to do is I don't want it to be seen. I want it to be invisible. So the way to do that is you're going to select your spawn location and you go to your properties windows, look for transparency, and you want to change that transparency to one and hit enter. And now you can see that the, the, the spawn location has disappeared. The only thing that is left is the decal. If you don't want to see the decal, you can go to your spawn location. You see there's a, a little arrow here. Click on that little arrow and you can see there's a decal underneath it. So if you don't want to see the decal, you can just delete it by pressing delete. And now it's gone. You, you no longer see the plate or the decal. One other thing you can do is Click on that spawn location again and you want to go to your properties window and you want to go down and look for can collide just turn off can collide and the reason for that is even though it was invisible but if you run across it you can trip across it so you don't want to trip, trip across the, the invisible spawn location so you turn off can't collide and now you're no, no longer going to trip over it. So it's going to be as if it's not there, but you can spawn at that location. So now the question is, you have two different spawn locations, right? Where is your character going to spawn when your character ends, enters the game? And the answer for that is, it's going to be totally random. So sometimes you're going to spawn here. And sometimes you're going to spawn at the invisible spawn location. Let's take a look. So let's see which one it chooses. So first time I enter the game, it spawns right in the middle of the, the uh, spawn, spawn location. And let's try again, maybe once or twice. Let's see if it goes to the other one. So there it is. It spawns at the invisible location. So after three tries, it spawns at the invisible location. The first two spawns, it spawns in the middle here. And this is my third. All right, so that's how you add spawn locations to your Roblox game. And you can put the spawn location at any place inside the game that you like. And that's where your character will spawn when the character enters the game. If you would like to have some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, you can go to our YouTube channel, Price CP Roblox, and click on the playlist here.
we, we have a bunch of different playlists. Um, there are two good playlists for new beginners here. The first one is the PriceCP Roblox New Beginner Series, which we are working on right now. And um, you can also go to PriceCP Roblox Extreme Simple Series. Th this series is actually a very good series for new beginners. Um, just start with lesson number 001 and then go go in sequence like go zero, from 01 to 0203 because each new lesson um, the material is uh, is based upon the material that you learned from the previous lesson so if you go out of order some of the um, material you may not be familiar with all right so until next time have fun creating your own Roblox games.